We do appreciate your patience and your endurance and do commend you on actually listening. And um, I am Gerald Davis, Minister of Outreach at the Cornerstone Baptist Church in South Dallas. I also serve as Community Development Director of the Baptist General Convention of Texas. And I'm speaking for the I mentioned uh, bills which address closing the CSO loop hold, uh, which allows for lending and allows for the lenders to charge exorbitant fees uh, for payday lending and auto title loans. I'd like to state several cases that come from members of Cornerstone Baptist Church and those in the community of South Dallas. Uh, the first one we refer to as Brother Ray. Uh, he is a senior, a retired, a retiree, retired uh, in his early 70s. He's on fixed income, and he found himself in a need to uh, take out a loan. He cites that after falling into this trap of lending, he was uh, harassed. Uh, he worked to pay the payments, but incurred uh, fees on top of fees. Uh, he just didn't understand the practice uh, that was before him, given his age and his educational level. Uh, nonetheless, his bank account was levied, and uh, after making payments, and even as of today, he is still faced with this dilemma. The second uh, situation deals with uh, Sister Peggy. She had a similar situation. Uh, she's a grandmother, and she's supporting her grandchildren. She ended up having to take out a loan and even uh, had uh, taken out up to four payday loans and had them all at one time. Uh, her solution to address this dilemma was to take money from her granddaughter's college fund to pay off each of these loans and uh, this, of course, jeopardized her granddaughter's college fund and college and future. And then thirdly, uh, is a situation in regards to a church, Cornerstone Baptist Church. We are a church that has been in the community for over 50 years, and this particular situation addresses our affordable housing program uh, that is a part of the South Dallas community. We are involved in a num number of uh, holistic ministries where we're trying to reach um, the, into the lives of the individuals in South Dallas to bring transformation and to impact some of the deplorable uh, social situations that are in our community. In this area of affordable housing, we have built and continue to build homes that uh, we hope to attract residents of the South Dallas community so that they would ultimately own their home and, at, and have a mortgage at an affordable price. Last year, we had over 40 individuals that were considered uh, or that applied for these three homes uh, that were recently built in our community. All 40 were denied credit uh, for a mortgage because the, of their debt to income ratio. It was too high because of either having a negative credit history due to payday loans, or they had too many payday loans uh, at the same time. This, of course, as we have heard from testimonies today, is ludicrous, considering the fact that these lenders are making loans under the CSO service organization loophole, which, of course, uh, is intended for organizations that should be helping to repair and improve the credit of these uh, potential borrowers uh, so that they can afford um, homes and uh, build their credit. That being said, I beseech you, therefore, to close this loophole and to regulate the lenders and uh, force them to operate under the financial st statutes which already exist. And, of course, I'm alluding to the statutes in Section 342 um, of the Finance Code. Thank you for your, your patience and your time in hearing this testimony, and uh, we certainly appreciate all that you're doing to better our communities. Thank you very much. And with